Hello guys, I'm back from another video and today we're talking about what if Deku never got one for all. So in the last video we talked about how during their whole, well, basically working for the leader of a drug cartel, aka Mr. Hatsume, they were told to go to a certain place to start their deal with a certain gang. So, the gang's dealing... Well, it doesn't really go well, because they sort of want to kill Izuku. So, after trying to kill him, well, Izuku became really pissed and killed both of them. And also saving Mr. Hatsume in the process. So, after that whole incident, Mr. Hatsume would tell Izuku that he's gonna be stop or gonna be stopping this whole drug cartel thing. And deciding to go back to his old ways, specifically just going back to the underworld and being an underworld broker. So, Izuku would ask him if he, um, you know, wants to help him. As he would tell Izuku that he would gladly help him. After all, he did basically just, like, save him. Also, after that, he would decide to quit and go to a gym. In this case, a gym that's also, well also attended by a certain two heroes. <laughs> In this case, these two heroes were Mirko and... and Mount Lady. Let's just say when they saw Izuku, they were, well, or more specifically, um, not really Mount Lady, it's more like Mirko is kind of angry and she started attacking him for no apparent reason but wanting to fight. So, yeah, after a bit of a scuffle, they were told to stop, as Mirko is basically still pissed, it's thinking that, well, after hearing that Izuku's actually quirkless, she can, well, she thinks that she can probably beat him to a bloody pulp. But unfortunately, he's basically trained by the number one teacher in all of Ireland. Not only that, well, Mount Lady sort of had a crush on him. And also, I forgot to tell you all of this, but... Well, they're technically like 20 years old. I forgot to specify that. Both Mirko and, well, Mount Lady are 20 years old. And for Izuku, he's, well, 15. So, yeah. So, after that whole thing, he would decide to go back home as he hears in the news that apparently there's this fight between two different villain factions. Not really villain factions, more like well, a gang is basically fighting. These two gangs' leaders are a bit, um, well, angry at each other and decided to fight at a large apartment complex that's now abandoned. So, after just, like, sneaking through all of the policemen, he would wear his brand new, well, vigilante costume. And after appearing to everybody, including Mount Lady and Mirko, he would subdue both of them to try and fight these two, well, villains, or, you know, gang leaders. After defeating them with the help of his brand new spell that he somehow created with the help of, during his time, basically just like trading with Skahawk. In this case, this special spell is called Wicker Man, which allows him to basically summon a giant made out of straw and fire, which, when used, can trap any enemies in its chest but only once. When it does, it would burn the person alive while that monster or that, you know, giant made out of straw and fire would basically die as well. But if there's an army or in this case a gang basically trying to, you know, save their leader, well, you can chuck fire and straw at them. Yeah, pretty useful technique as well. <laughs> so, after the or at least that thing, that giant, aka the Wicker Man, is basically just, you know, disintegrated, those villains were turned into skeletons. After throwing a, well, not really throwing, more like giving two rocks to, you know, Mirko, these rocks were healing runes, and telling her to put them up to, you know, herself, and, well, Mirko to heal them. After doing that, Izuku would decide to leave, but... During in the news, they also um, got a wind of this brand new vigilante, which 
they heard his name was Kukulin, which Izuku decided to name after his, you know, the guy that basically gave him another chance of becoming a hero. Or at least he didn't really want to become a hero, but he wanted to become a hero now, so because of this, the media sort of thinks he's kind of cool, but the media outside of that, mostly the news, thinks that he's a horrible, horrible vigilante. But a certain bad guy by the name of Stain decided to maybe try and meet this guy. So yeah, that's basically what happened last episode. And so, let's talk about what happens next. And also, it seems that the winners of, you know, the vote between, well, um, the ship for What If Deku Never Got One For All is all three of them. Being Mirko, Mount Lady, and Mei Hatsume. Well, he's definitely gonna have a handful. So yeah, let's actually begin the actual story. So, Izuku's been basically doing the rounds, being a vigilante, but also maintaining a normal life. But he doesn't really have a job yet, so he's mostly been just like doing some hero, more like vigilante work. And maybe stealing some of the wallets of these villains while basically bring them to police stations to just, you know, be brought to justice. Many people thought that this vigilante by the name of Kukulin is pretty cool, but the policemen are trying to find a way to stop him. So let's move to a different perspective, shall we? So. This perspective is on a certain mouse by the name of Principal Nezu. So, they were brought, or maybe, should I say, um, many heroes were brought towards, you know, UA High School to talk about this new vigilante by the name of Kukulin. So, after hearing about this brand new vigilante, one of them being, well, All Might would say this, so you're saying this vigilante has been causing a bit of trouble with the heroes lately. But he seems to be a pretty nice guy to say to be honest. As he would say this, being Principal Nezu. Agreed. Even though the media thinks that he's kind of a bad guy. All that he did is just kill these two, you know, gang leaders. And that's not the worst of it. The only thing that he does is just save random citizens. As one of them specifically, well, Mirko would say this. Oh, really? Then why did he? Ah, it's still pretty pissed off about that. As Mount Lady would say this. Um, please calm down. And besides, he did kind of save us with those stones. But I'm also pretty weird about how this vigilante decided to save us. As he would say this, being Principal Nezu. Hmm. I still think that he's probably trying to do the right thing, but I really want to try and make him join UA. As one of them, a random hero, would say this. Are you crazy? That's a vigilante! And he should be brought to justice at least. Even though he did good, it doesn't mean that he actually did good. As one of them would say this. I do agree, but still. Mind telling us what is his appearance exactly? As he would say this, being, you know, Nezu. Alright, as he would bring in a projector, as it would show some sketches of this so-called vigilante. So, he would explain that this vigilante by the name of Colin seems to be wielding a spear and nothing else. Many people believe that he has multiple quirks, mostly fire and something else. Most of the people say that he's able to carve these stones or use these stones to his advantage because these stones can literally shoot out different types of elements, they say. As when All Might hears this, he would say, Wait, what do you mean by that? As one of them would say this, Yeah, what are you saying? Is he... Don't tell me he's like... As he would say this, being Principal Nezu, I don't know yet, but... With the signs of multiple quirks... It sounds like he's a, well, an 0 for 1, I don't know, an 0 for 1 successor or something like that. But he did explain to one villain about something. As All Might would say this, then what is it exactly? As he would explain, apparently 
one of these villains that sort of survived, but he was crippled as hell, he would explain that this so-called vigilante by the name of Kukulin was quirkless. As everybody would just, like, say, what? As one of them would say, wait, he's quirkless, but you said that he's... As All Might would say this, you're telling me that he was quirkless, but how did he... As one of them would specifically say this, being, you know, wait for Principal Nezu would say this. Ah, uh, I think the reason why he calls himself quirkless is maybe he's not even using a quirk at all. But I'm not really sure. As Miracle would say this, yeah, then why are we here exactly? Are we going to be catching him or... As Mirko would be shut up by Principal Nezu. As Principal Nezu would say, No, not exactly. I heard in your first appearance, or more specifically the first appearance of Kukulin, he sort of helped you, right? As she would say this, Yeah, but still, I feel pathetic about that. As he would say this, Hmm. Mind telling everybody about what happened? As she would say this. Ah, oh, fine. After showing this weird looking stone, it seems to be carved or seems to have a carving on it. As All Might would say this. What the? Why is there a stone and why does it have a weird symbol? As he would say this, being, you know, um, Principal Nezu. Hmm, when we searched about this, or at least researched about this, it seems to have a carving of a certain Celtic symbol for healing. Whatever this means, either he's not even using a quirk at all, or he really is quirkless. As one of them would say, one of them would say this, then what the heck is that exactly? As he would say this, being Principal Nezu. Hmm. It seems to be almost like don't. Please don't, um, say anything else, but I think it's probably magic. As everybody would just be silent. As one of them would start laughing, saying, <laughs> Are you sure about that, Nezu? Or you're just going back to your animalistic instincts? As he would just look completely dead silent. As he would say this. Are you serious? You think that magic is actually real? I can believe quirks, but not magic. As he would say this, I think it's probably magic, or at least something of the sort, because those are Celtic symbols, and that symbol specifically is for healing. And I heard about these legends about this certain hero in legend. Apparently his name was Kukulin, as one of them would say this, but that's the name of the vigilante, as he would say this, exactly. I heard that this man by the name of Kukulin he was the Irish Child of Light from Irish Legend, said to be the one that was trained by Skaha, the Mage Queen or the Underworld Goddess of the Norse, not Norse, or the Irish Land of the Dead, known as the Land of Sky and Shadow or whatever it's called. So maybe it's, as All Might would say this, <sighs> this sounds crazy, Nezu, but unfortunately I have to leave now. My student, she's, as he would say this, oh yeah, your successor, as he would say this, I'm going to be leaving now, see you Nezu, as he would decide to leave, being All Might, he would jump out with a curious smile, as for Nezu, and the rest of the people there, they're quite confused, he's named after a hero from legend? says Mirko, as Mount Lady would say this. So you're telling me that he's named after an Irish hero, and and his name is the Child of Light or something like that? As he would say this. Exactly. His original name was Satanta or something like that. As when Mirko hears this, she'll be reminded of Izuku Satanta. As she would say this. Wait, what did you say again? As... He would say this, um, apparently his original, or at least his original name where he was called Kukulin was Satanta, as she would say this, but I heard that name before, as he would say this, really, 
As she said this, yeah, it was the name of some boy or something like that. He told me that his name was like, or at least his last name was Satanta or something like that. As he would say this, interesting. So, if this boy was really named Satanta, or at least that's his last name, we should probably go talk to him. As she would say this, gladly, but I don't really know him personally. I only know him because of his little interactions with us. As, well, about Lady would say this, yeah, he's kind of cute, but unfortunately he's pretty young. As, well, wait for a second, god dang it. Principal Nezi would say this. What do you mean that he's pretty young? As she would say this. Well, he's 15. But dang, he looks tall. And he doesn't even look 15. He looks pretty older, maybe like 17 or something. As he would say this. Really? Hmm. As, well, one of them specifically says this, being Mount Lady. Yeah. He said to us that he was quirkless, as he would say this. So, because of these coincidences, maybe he's not this Kukulin man. After all, you said that he was quirkless, but I also have a working theory about him using magic or something like that. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Oh. Anyway, all of you should leave now. It's time for us to... Get ready in case of another emergency. As they would get an alert about something happening in, well, another city nearby to, you know, UA. As Merrick goes on the case, basically running off with, you know, you know, um, Mount Lady. So, yeah. Let's go back to Izuku right now. Shall we? So... Izuku is basically going to the city, basically taking down some minor, um, let's just say some minor villains, and also some, let's just say horrible, horrible pro-heroes. These so-called pro-heroes were either harassing people, and maybe even bullying some quirkless people, so, let's just say their bodies are now completely disappeared. As in disappeared, I mean, you know... Every single part of their bodies, including their quirks, are basically destroyed. Including some man by the name of, well, let's just say like somebody that's pretty minor. Um, native, yeah. Native, let's just say he's basically broken inside. So, after a while of basically thro going through alleys, he would go and change. After changing, he would go back into his apartment as he would decide to go to another route, to maybe find some more, well, horrible people, like for example, villains and maybe minor thugs. So, after a while of searching through the webs, and also going through a certain dark web, he would find out about this so-called hero killer. Apparently, his motto is basically killing, well, so-called fake heroes, as he would say this. Hmm... Killing fake heroes, you say? Now this sounds interesting. As he would give out this interesting smile. This almost sadistic smile, almost. As he would grab his spear, as he would say this. I think that's enough resting. As he would grab a, maybe like a, um, a, um, the last donut from his, you know, donut box and starts chowing it down. As he would jump down from his balcony as he would start running, as he would trans not really transform, but like wore his like um, vigilante costume in the dead of freaking night. So, after a while of going through the city, he would find out that the place where you know the hero killer is usually just like you know going through the city is mostly a specific city. Let's just say like. Um, Actually, I don't really know the city's name, so we're just gonna call. We're just gonna um, say it's just like a random city. So, after going through the city, he would find some heroes basically beaten to a bloody pulp. As you would say this, huh? What happened to them? These heroes, which he sort of looked at, were actually some heroes on his list. 
these heroes were pretty much assholes and basically tortured some weak quirk users and some of the quirkless. As you would say this. Huh. So, this so-called hero killer kind of is a bad guy. Hmm. I kind of like him. As you would start following the trail of blood from those, well, heroes. So, after a while of just trekking through this, well, dimmed light alleyway, he would find the hero killer basically, well, just like tired and saying, Ugh, no more fake heroes. Ugh. Hey, I know you're there. As you would say this. So, you must be the hero killer, right? As you would say this. So who's asking? Are you another one of those fake heroes? As you would say this. No. You can call me Kukulin. As you would say this. So you're that new... Um, this new vigilante, right? As you would say this. Yep. And I heard that you've been killing fake quote-unquote heroes. Heh. <laughs> I kinda like you. I do agree with your message, but you won't get too far with that. As you would say this. Really? As you would say this. Yep, yeah, pretty much. I mean, trust me. After all, if you're gonna be doing it like that, maybe some, well, maybe some heroes, like for example, maybe like Mirko over there, which I saved during the whole, well, my first appearance. Well, would make sense. After all, after all, I decided to save her because, you know, um, let's just say it's for several reasons. As you would say this, I see. So you hate heroes as well, right? As you would say this, I agree, but some heroes can actually be changed. Or at least some. Like, for example, All Might. As you would look over as he would say this. Really? Who do you know about All Might exactly? As you would say this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he's the symbol of tyranny in my eyes. The symbol of tyranny. That only cares about money and fame. It makes me sick. As you would say this. But All Might is the true hero of this world. Unlike these fake ones. As you would say this. Oh, really? Then why did he decide to... Oh, I don't know. Um... As he would get a little bit of a flashback, he would remember how his sister was given one for all. Not only that, he would be pissed, thinking that she lied that she was quirkless, that mother lied that she was quirkless. As he would say this, then why, then why did he not save me? As he would say this, save you from what? As he would say this, the bullying, telling me to just die because I was just quirkless. As he would say this, you're quirkless, really. As he would say this, yeah. They told me to just die, just go to hell. And maybe just get a new quirk in my next life. But you know what? I did. But it's not really a quirk. Let's just say I was given my powers by a higher being. A hero of the past. One that seeks only truth and only seeks justice. Unlike those so-called heroes of new. So... You said that you want to kill fake heroes, right? Then maybe save some heroes that are... At least good. Let me give you an example. As he would say this. What do you mean by an example? As he would say this. I heard of this hero by the name of Ingenium. He's actually a pretty good guy. He even helped this quirkless kid. I even saw it for myself that one time. As he would say this. Really? As you would say this, yeah, he was a true hero in my eyes. That's why I'm not targeting him. Maybe until he 
decides to show his true colors at least. But for now, he's not in my radar. And as for you, me fight somebody that's not a good hero. And as for a certain, you know, um, what's his face? Wait for a second. Um, a certain All Might. Never ever trust that stupid ass smile. He's nothing more than a faker in my opinion. As you would say this. Very well, Kukulin. I also wanted to talk to you about something. As you would say this. Really. As he would say this. Yeah. I want you to join me. And bring this so-called country, this so-called country of so-called heroes, this world, this society of heroes, and bring it all down, and make a new one, a new one, where true heroes exist. As Izuku would say this, I like your dream, so, I guess I can join you, as he would hold up his hand, as he would shake. So, after solidifying his, you know, um, you know, alliance with Mr. Slade, not Slade, I meant Stain, he would tell him his, well, his vigilante name, which was not the hero killer, but Stain. As Izuku would say this, Stain, hey? <laughs> what an interesting name. As, you, as he would say this, yeah, because I'm a stain on society, and this stain is going to suffer. Not really suffer, I meant, um, this stain is gonna, well, he, this stain, this stain on society shall spread, and spread all over this so-called country, this so-called society, as he would say this. So, what about your name? Why did you call yourself Kukulin in the first place? Because that's a pretty weird name in my opinion. As you would say this, well then. I'm named after the Irish hero of legend, Kukulin. The man, the myth, the legend. The one who brought down the evil, the evil Morgan. But was defeated by her many years ago. He was also known as the Child of Light. And I shall be that light in this world, this society of darkness and lies. As he would say this. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad, kid. So, what are you planning to do? As you're... You know, because you're a new vigilante here. As he would say this. Well then. I'm going to be taking down some villains, including this brand new organization of villains by the name of... The League of Villains or something like that. As you would say this. Really? As you would say this. Yeah. As a statement that there were not any old vigilantes. We're vigilantes with a purpose. Changing society. So. What do you think of that? Stain. As Stain would say this. I like that. As you would say this. So. Stain. Maybe we can maybe meet up next time. Maybe in my apartment. As he would say this. That would be nice. As he would give him his location. As he would decide to leave. And as for Izuku. Izuku would start moving out. As he would look over. As a knife would be. Stabbed into the wall where his face. Was almost about to get. You know cut open. As he would look over. As you would say this, Stain, you really think that you can actually try and kill me? As Stain would not respond, but a girly voice would respond saying, <laughs> So you were talking to Stain, eh? Hmm, pretty interesting. And I can't believe you're actually a friend of my idol. Well then... Allow me to introduce myself. You can call me... As... She would bring out knives. As it reveals to be a woman. Wearing a... Almost jester-like mask. Wearing a top hat and coat. 
Several knives adorn her body as she would say this. You can call me Jack the Ripper. As black smoke would appear, as Izuku would say this. Jack the Ripper? Wait, as in that Jack the Ripper? But I thought he was a man, or at least that's what the, well, consistent name, or at least the um, name comes from. After all, Jack is a male name. As she would throw out several knives at them, as he would say this. God damn it, I'm too tired right now. Guess I'll just leave. As he would bring out his, well, a um, teleportation rune. As he would disappear, as she would say this. <laughs> God damn it, I lost. Oh well. I guess we can talk later. And maybe we can talk to Stain as well. <laughs> she would laugh maniacally as the smoke would almost envelop her body as she would disappear. And as for Izuku, Izuku, after encountering this new vigilante, or at least I think that's a vigilante, he would say this Whatever she is, she's definitely not using any type of quirk. She seems to have multiple quirks, in fact. Maybe she's... Another one just like me. So, yeah. This is going to be the end of this episode. So, I hope you like this cliffhanger. And also, I hope you like the video. Comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.